by, by the end of by the end of tomorrow we'll have Wi-Fi okay. set up. Um, you will have Wi-Fi inside the building. Good. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's a But it is a simplistic and easy way to work SATs. On the other hand, you can go outside on GB4 Fun and you can see the aerial systems we have on that, which were chosen primarily for the fact they went in through the door rather than anything else. But it's how much money do you want to throw in your hobby? Because rotator elevators will cost you anywhere from £500 upwards. Then you still need the hardware to drive them. Then you still need the aerials, the preamps, the feeders. This is an area of a hobby which, to be really honest, you can start simple and work your way up. A company called Elk, nothing to do with those large sort of strange beasts, have started to produce these. Again, another amateur handheld satellite aerial. Again, the advantage this and the dual band handheld that will work full duplex when you've got a satellite station in your hand. Uh, so, uh, uh, from, uh, uh, failure to connect to primary service. Hundreds of petrofoods. It's getting going from bad to worse. Um, sorry, John. Uh, um, Lars, we seem to have internet access problems to the server. I don't know. Can you just confirm that the internet is, is, is there? The internet is there, Lars. Oh, the internet is there. Okay. It's not connected to the server. Sixty minutes. Let's try out the whole CCTV board. It's really cool. I mean, when it's doing the in inter space, the the, the uh, pre preamp. Pre so oh, yeah. In inside there for sixty milliseconds, you're sitting there generating it. And it's wow. Sixty, 60 milliseconds. You can do the whole thing. Throw out the CCTV board. Yeah. I know, I know. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Can you hear me at the back? Bob? Yeah. Uh, good. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jim Heck, GCW Jim. I'm the AMSAT UK Honorary Secretary. I'm going to make a few housekeeping announcements and then hand over to Carlos, who's going to formally open the uh, event. Um, First of all, I have to tell you about the fire regulations. There is no fire practice today, so if the fire alarms go off, you should follow me. <laughs> In, out of that door, label conveniently fire exit. Um, so that's covered that one. I'm not going to tell you where the lavatories are. Um, registration, there's no formal AMSAT registration. It's just book in at the hotel and, and pay whatever you have to pay, whether overnight or whatever. But there are AMSAT badges on table out there with pens, you just fill them in and do your own thing, and there's a stack of uh, programs there. Um, the, uh, just a second, sorry, just a um, the AMSAT shop is, is going, and the RSGB bookshop uh, will, will be going at lunchtime. They're going to move from where they are now into the other room, the other side of the main door, because it's a little bit bigger. So uh, please support um, both of them because, well, mainly the AMSAT one, but. <laughs> Very good morning. I hope you can all hear me right at the back. If not, uh, you're probably quite better to sit at the back. Thank you, Jim, for the uh, the RSGB snub. Um, <laughs> it has been 
been noted. <laughs> if I don't say that, of course, it'd be considered a severe career limiting move. <laughs> I made some notes because, as ever, it was uh, a very nice email I received earlier on in the week saying, uh, unfortunately, Professor Sir Martin Sweeting will be in China, so I won't actually be able to attend to do the address. The AMSAT committee has got together and decided the most eloquent and excellent person for the job of opening the colloquium would be you. president <laughs> of AMSAT uh, North America, and he's come over from the uh, US uh, this weekend to, uh, uh, to meet up with us and also present how to do a presentation just now. Um, one of the reasons why uh, Barry, for me, uh, was quite important in my um, satellite career was that he was extremely welcoming when, uh, when I went over to my first uh, AMSAT NA symposium over in the United States. I believe it was in Atlanta in 2002, might be 2001. And uh, Barry was extremely um, uh, welcoming to me. And, uh, and I thank him very much for that and uh, promoted everything that I was uh, sort of doing, even though I was sort of quite, well, relatively younger then. And uh, I'd like to thank you for that. Uh, but uh, with, uh, uh, with that, I'd like to introduce Barry, who's going to give us a presentation from uh, what's happening the other side of the pond now. Barry Bates. tendency to talk, so I'm going to ask you to sort of keep an eye on the clock and give me the hook if necessary, because I know I'm the last speaker before lunch, and uh, I don't want to stop the herd, if you will, from grazing if, as necessary. So um, I first of all, I want to thank you all for allowing me to come to the Colloquium and how welcome you all have been. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed uh, my stay here and certainly have enjoyed my first Colloquium. and. Uh, I want to give you a presentation this morning. I'm going to give you an outline of what's happening, as Howard says, on the other side of the park. Oh, Lima, Victor Bravo. If I guess the name. Six, Lima, Victor Bravo. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry. That was at uh, 1.45. 0.9 megahertz. If you actually take a closer look at this board, there are no tuning slugs in there, there are no trimmer capacitors, totally no tune. <laughs> it was a one. <laughs> oh Mario, no, it's actually, um, I think this is the, uh, the moment where they turn on the transmitter. But you can imagine if that signal becomes weak, then yeah. very difficult. Uh, you have out, of out of time, I go very quickly to the <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why they, why you always put me in the first lecture on Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> let me sleep. Didn't let me sleep too much last night. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, and once you, once you, once you do that, after a while, you get uh, to some sort of an agreement. So for, for, for the second decoder. Now this result you can again oh, yeah. put to give, give to the first decoder and repeat this. Um, in this case, um, there's a uh, few more slides that I put there as a backup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your comments are welcome on either the content of the lecture, the ones you didn't like, the ones you did like, to give us a steer for next year. Um, so uh, that's that's that. I would those of you who've been taking um, pictures, I'd be grateful if you could upload them to the. Uh, AMSAT UK gallery, because it's always useful to have, or nice to have a record. Um, uh, the second thing I wrote down is the URL of the AMSAT UK website. Um, and if you've been watching on the television, you're going to soon going to be not watching because uh, this is the end of the event. Um, if you have been watching on TV, um, then please go visit our website. Maybe you might consider uh, joining us. Um, and we're seeing our, our regular publication, Oscar News. Um, and the, the last sort of thing I wanted to say was um, 